Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about a medium level problem, yet it is very easy. From lead code, the problem name is string compression. So given an array of characters, cats, compress it using the following algorithm. So you are given, as you can see, a character array and you have to compress that. Now what's the technique to compress that? Begin with an empty string S and for each group of consecutive repeating characters in cat, if the group length is 1, append the character to S. Otherwise, append the character followed by the group length. So, I'll tell you in simple terms, you have some characters. Now, you have to group those characters out in the similar fashion. Like what? Like this is a group of A's, this is a group of B's, group of C's and so on. If the group of any character is of length 1 only, then you, in the new string that you want to form, you have to just append that character. Like that character. But if the character string like the characters are more than one length and let's say two three or any any character length then what you'll do you will append the character as well as its frequency so let's say a is again two times so a two b is again two times b two c three okay similarly a is occurring one time so the answer is only a because any character that is occurring only one time then the only character is uh, added there not the occurrence in the case of only one time occurring but if the character occurrence is more than let's say line 9 okay let's say 10 or 11 then let's say it's 12 times so b is again 12 times so you have to like make it two characters like a like 1 and 2 okay so in the end what your main goal is to actually what you can say return the length of the new array that will be formed after doing all of this operation like uh, you have to compress so what you'll do is that in the cares array that you have you have to store the new cares array as well that is the compressed array let's take one example so that it will become more clear to you but i think so the overall problem statement is clear to you so going with the problem statement it's very simple what you'll do is for every character you will find out its occurrence and then let's say its occurrence is two so you will first make a new let's say vector in which you'll first insert the character itself and then the occurrence of it in the character form if the number is more than let's say nine it is 10 or 12 that you have to like buy bifurcate that number into smaller uh, digits and then you have to append those digits in the character array and just return the character as well as the length of it that's the overall logic for this problem the the only one thing which i just uh, always mention is that if you have a problem in which you have to compare two elements let's say because i want to find find out groups of elements okay let's take one example so that it is i have character let's say a a a a let's say b b now if i want to form let's say like this is one of the groups this is one of the groups how you can form the groups what you will directly do is that you will start matching the character the first character with the previous character if they are same which means that it is forming a current group like a like a current group so I'll, i will start from this character not the zeroth index but from the one index i will match the previous character they are same so which means that if i assume that this is one group that i am forming i will start from the second character like is this second character the like the part of the same group that i am building because the first group starts from the very first character it is a so i'll match that whether this is equal to a yes so it is part of the same group now now whether this is part of the previous character because if it is part of the same group this will continue be growing so every character will match with the previous character if they are same which means that the current group is building now when i come to this point and this is not equal to this which actually means that this this part forms one particular group so this is one of the groups you have one group now you can also make some total let's say variable that will keep track of how many equals are there so there are one two three equals and we have started with one so there are total of four equals so the group size is four so you will just insert let's say a character is a and it is of length four now you start from a very fresh character okay so you have that when it doesn't match out i have started a new group and the group is that i will include this in the group so i will start from the next character match it that whether this is same yes this is same so it is part of the same group now because we have gone out of bound we have not closed this group the group will only be closed when there is a difference between two characters so this is a this character is different this character is different so you have said that this is a complete group but this has stopped before the actual like we have not seen any different characters but this has stopped okay so what you can do is that you have to terminate this either you have two cases either in the end when you have completed this for loop you have the assumption that there will be some group that is not completed so what you'll do is that you will complete this group and explicitly insert that in the answer vector that you are building so you are building this vector that is a is occurring four times so you will 
explicitly add after the for loop ends that b is occurred two times because in the for loop this will not hit the condition because we will only push this answer when there's a mismatch but in the end if there's no mismatch the for loop terminates answer. but instead you can also do that you can insert a random character that is not in the part of the whole scope of characters that we'll be using and insert that such that let's say i insert hash in the end let's assume okay so there's an extra character that i've inserted in the back of this whole array so when i'm doing a for loop when i come to this point this will not so every character is matched with the previous character so when i come to this character it will match with the previous character and they do not match out when they do not match out i know that okay this complete group is done so i will directly push that group in the answer vector my main focus here is that i should not be writing on one more extra step after the for loop but i can insert a character at the end of the whole array of characters so that this will hit this condition in which there is a mismatch because we will only insert at the point of mismatch and we will directly insert this group of db inside this vector that we are building as the answer and we have got the answer by not writing on extra condition so all the conditions will be met in the for loop only that's the overall idea that you will insert a character at the end if you don't want to insert a character you can also write on one extra condition that's the overall logic for this problem let's move on to the code part now so what we have done is that i have inserted let's say tilde okay at the end of this character array because i think that uh, tilde might not be there okay a character that is not in the scope okay then uh, what i'll do is that iterated over this whole character array that we have in the input and then we have to store it in the answer vector of the same type which is of the character type so i'll make one more uh, vector of character total is in i said one because every group has at least one character now i'll start from the first index not this index so starting from that if the character i matches with the previous character so character of i equal to character of i minus 1 then the total will increment which means that the group is incremented in size if there is if we have find out a uh, that i th character is not equal to i minus 1 character which means that the group is completed we have two conditions either the group size is equal to 1 or the group size is more than 1 if the group size is equal to 1 what we'll do which means that my group is same so what i'll do is that i will insert the character that is of the previous type like the group so character of the last group size is of i minus 1 because the current character is of different group because if let's say we compare b with a so b is the, in the new group a is the previous group so i minus 1 is the end of the previous group and i want to push that so previous group character i will insert in the answer and i will not insert it frequency because for one i don't have to insert the frequency and in slice my total equal to one again because now we are starting a new fresh group with one character that we have seen else if the size of the frequency of the group that we have seen is more than one we'll first insert the character again like the same group character as well as we have to now insert the length of the group in the bifurcated digits form so we have to first convert the total in the string because let's say our string is let's say 25 i have 25 consecutive characters of b so we have to first convert 25 into string format so that we have 25 now i will convert this 25 each into different characters so 2 and 5 so i will iterate over this string that is of 25 and what I'll do is that I will bifurcate every character, let's say 2 and 5, and insert that in the answer vector. So that we have now 2 and 5 separated as a character in the answer vector. And then because we have done this whole group is completed, I'll again make my total equal to 1. But what you can see that I've inserted this tilde, so no other condition after the for loop is done. Else I have to like write down the same if else condition after the else, like in the end of the for loop as well, because there might be the last group that is not complete. Hope you get the point. In the end, what we'll do, we have to find out the length of the answer vector that we have built to return the answer vector size. But in the problem statement, they also want that the character's vector should be changed with the new vector, the compressed vector. So the new compressed vector is to an answer. So just make your character's array equal to answer. It's just the requirement of the problem, not required in actual problems if you have seen it somewhere. But in this problem, if you just submitted this, the answer will be wrong. So what you'll have to do is that make your character's uh, array equal to answer vector because the answer is turning out the compressed uh, value as well as now return the length of the answer vector that's the logic and the code part for this problem as well that's much complicated here if you have understand the problem statement so this is just a for loop o of n time complexity storing out this in answer vector which is creating out a new compressed vector for storing out the new compressed form so it is o of n so the total time complexity and space complexity is o of n thank you watching the video till the end if you have any doubts, you can mention it in the comment box. I will see you in the next one. I'll keep coding and bye.